Hello everyone, my name is Lin and it's my honor to present my research today. That is in vitro selection and characterization of a sodium dependent D enzyme. Sodium is the most abundant metal ion in biology. In human body, sodium is dominating in both intercellular fluid and blood plasma. However, the interaction between sodium and bile molecules is normally considered as nonspecific, making the sodium recognition to be highly challenging for scientists. In nature, there are only few examples have shown great sodium binding affinity. One is sodium potassium pump, which is a protein that combines with three sodium ions and transports them outside of cell membrane. The other one is G rich DNA sequence that can form G quadruplex structure by binding with sodium ion. In recent years, D enzymes have shown great potential for sodium detection. In our lab, a D enzyme called NH1 has been obtained from mutual selection. It is a single strand DNA sequence that can cleave the substrate strand by binding with sodium ion. The reaction starts from the 2'OH group attacking the nearest phosphate group, causing the leaving of the 5' oxygen. Now, this D enzyme can be considered as a mutant uh, from a previously reported D enzyme named NA43, where two guanines are mutated into an adenine in the small catalytic loop. Its activity is highly dependent on sodium concentration, with a KD of 12 millimolar sodium. Meanwhile, it also performs a high selectivity towards sodium ion compared to other metal ions. Therefore, it can be designed into a biosensor for sodium ion detection. At the same time, by studying these D enzymes, we have gained insight into their catalytic mechanism. By mutating the guanine into adenine, we found distinct pH rate profiles, indicating quite different reaction mechanisms. Therefore, we further mutate the purines into their base analogs and compare their pH rate profiles. In the end, we, we conclude that the guanine in the NA43D enzyme is functioning as a general base to promote the deprotonation of the 2'OH group, while the adenine in NH1 can stabilize the fine prime oxygen and then function as a general acid. This is an interesting example where single base mutation can shift the catalytic mechanism in a D enzyme. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention.